Your home is a system made up of different elements. The maintenance of the system can impact your home's energy efficiency. The building envelope or shell of the home is part of the system and includes your roof, foundation, and walls. Together, they maintain proper air sealing, insulation, moisture control, and ventilation in your home. The Department of Energy and Energy Star have indicated that sealing and insulating the envelope of your home, the walls, ceiling, windows, doors, and floors, is the most cost-effective way to improve energy efficiency. There's a wide variety of roofing products. When you start looking at products that are energy efficient, there's been a lot of things happen in the past year. Uh, we have uh, shingles, normal asphalt roofing shingles, which have a lifetime warranty and are Energy Star rated. And, and this goes up to synthetic products, which are recycled and made from recycled products. Putting on a uh, energy wise product on the roof uh, can save them up to 50% on their energy costs. And in most cases, the payoff period of an Energy Star rated roof versus a standard roof can be a year to five years. It's interesting to note that recycled roofing tiles are composed of up to 80% recycled post-industrial rubber and plastic, which consist of waste that includes car bumpers and baby diaper production remnants. Ventilation is vital to the life of your home. Inadequate attic ventilation is the number one cause of premature roof failure. Moisture will get trapped inside your home. One of the biggest problems with that is that it can cause mold and mildew inside your home. And without getting it out of the building, then it gets trapped in there and it can cause further damage to the structure. A lot of times people think that uh, you put in an exhaust fan in the bathroom to control odors. The main primary function of that fan is to get humidity out of your building so that it's not trapped in there and causing all these, these harmful things to your, to your home. You can achieve natural ventilation in usually the warmer months when you would typically open your windows and your doors. That's not really an effective way to ventilate your home in the winter months and here in Utah our winter months are the better part of the year. Up to eight months you're not going to be opening your doors and windows putting in a fiberglass insulation and stuffing it in those voids, those will help that air from going back and forth. According to the Department of Energy, good air sealing alone may reduce utility costs by as much as 50 percent. Inside your home you have a network of ducting that is trans that's taking and transporting all of your warm and cool air throughout your house. If uh, those ducts have big leaks in them, especially if they're in a crawl space or up in your attic, you're losing a lot of that air that you've been paying money to heat or to cool. You're losing into areas that aren't benefiting your home at all. A good way to take care of that is to seal all of the joints on the ducting with a good quality aluminum duct tape that will seal that permanently and, and then that way you're not heating mother nature, you're heating your home. Insulation is one of the fastest and most cost-effective ways to reduce your energy costs. Take a look at the cellulose versus the fibered insulation. Fibered insulation is a little bit denser and, and holds better insulation in our value in the attic. We've known this. We have a kit that's provided by us or for us from uh, Owens Corning to help the homeowner determine how much insulation and what type of insulation they'll need in their attic space. Also with that, this is a typical measuring stick and it tells you in R19 you have 8 inches of insulation in your attic. In order to get to R49 we need 18 and a half inches. So <clears throat> if we already have an R19 which used to be standard, we're going to add 10 more inches, 10 and a half more inches onto that insulation right now that we have in our attic space to get R49. Which would create a better barrier, a better uh, air barrier and moisture barrier in your attic. If you're thinking about cutting costs and you're thinking about trimming the insulation, we don't want to skimp there. We don't want to skimp on ventilation or insulation. It'll cost us in the long run. It'll cost us in heating and cooling bills over the period of a year. So whatever that cost is, it's greater to go ahead and blow that insulation in now and put the proper ventilation on there because the savings will be tremendous over the next five to seven years. The easiest place to add insulation and get the biggest return is usually in the attic. Look across your uncovered attic floor. 
If your insulation is level with or below the attic floor joists, you probably need to add more insulation. Here you can see the U.S. Department of Energy's recommendations and the most recent minimum international energy conservation code levels for Provo's zone. More comprehensive information about your zone and the recommended levels of insulation are available at the website on your screen. For an easy do-it-yourself air sealing project, try a product like Great Stuff. This is an example of a great product that is out on the market today. This uh, product is called Great Stuff. Uh, it's made for uh, sealing air gaps and insulation around windows, doors, and exterior penetrations. There are a few different makes of this product. Uh, this one happens to be um, the window and door. Uh, it's made so that uh, it doesn't expand quite as much as the other products. Uh, this is an all-around good um, usage for any gaps, holes you want to fill. They also have a big gap filler that's going to expand two to three times more, and then a standard one that's kind of a mid-range. The uh, applications for this that really help your efficiency of your home are uh, your windows and doors around the exterior of your home, out exterior outlets, any gaps from uh, water faucets, um, hose bibs, um, such to that nature you can spray in there. It's going to block off that air seal and also give you a, a little bit of R value in that penetration. Here are some general tips for using great stuff. Read the label carefully before using. Wear safety goggles and gloves when foaming. The full cure time is eight hours. To expedite curing, spritz the area with water before and after foaming. Do not overfill the cavity, but if you do, foam can easily be trimmed with a serrated blade or utility knife once it is fully cured. So there you have a few ideas for improving the envelope of your home. Arm yourself with knowledge and you can save up to 20% on heating and cooling costs just by sealing and insulating. We'd like to thank Interstate Roofing for their participation in this project. Remember, rebates and federal tax credits are available through Questar Gas for improvements to your insulation, duct sealing, and duct insulation.